it's a deal i'm back with another video and um so yeah just like i, I mentioned in the previous video that i was going to start talking about uh doing exterior exterior mods to to the s2000 and the time has come so um so yeah like uh before i get started uh on unboxing this and showing you guys what's inside the box and what i what i initially got so i got two things so i just want to run down a little bit uh information regarding these two parts and uh one of them to start off with is the 20th anniversary honda side streaks as many of you guys may may or not know, Honda came out with the 20th anniversary line of uh, parts for the S2000. Um, I do not know if it was just a limited run or if it's uh, a response to um, uh, Honda asking people uh, in, in a previous article, like uh, back then they came out and and asked if there was like some form of demand for S2000 parts to be in production or if they wanted any particular parts being in, uh, in production more. And um, so a lot of people responded to that. And uh, so I guess this is Honda's response about part production. So, um, so yeah, like uh, in case you guys didn't know, um, Honda, uh, they came out with the 20th anniversary lineup which uh, they came out with the front bumper, uh, suspension, uh, the side streaks, the footlights that I have put on my car, um, and uh, many other things uh, along with that. Oh yeah, the duck bill spoiler. So they had all that, uh, all those parts in production. So um, honestly, uh, I didn't really care for most majority of them. Um, I already got what I initially wanted from that uh, whole, production uh, of, of the whole 20th anniversary line production. Um, I got the footlights, which that was one of the first things that I, I've, I wanted ever since I saw it. And also, um, I also got the side streaks as well, cause believe it or not, I've been looking for a set of these side streaks, uh, considering that the OEM, uh, OEM Honda um, that's provided, that's already painted, uh, they're already discontinued. So they don't make them no more. And um, so I guess Honda decided to re-release and produce uh, the side streaks, but this time they put it under the 20th anniversary lineup and uh, they sold it as is. So there is a slight premium uh, price tag to, the, to this particular side streak set, um, which I have absolutely n uh, no idea why, but it's the 20th anniversary. It doesn't, and from what I've looked at it in comparison to the OEM and to this one, there's absolutely no difference besides these don't come painted. Um, and the OEM one, OEM side streaks, they do come painted if uh, they have them available in your paint coat. Um, I've been wanting to get this set for quite some time. And uh, they, I, every time I try to look for them, they're, they're sold out. And I kind of don't want to buy secondhand either because it's either, um, there might be some uh, clip damage or you know you know how it may be like the adhesive residue it might be on there like so I, I kind of want to have a like a perfect fitment um, right right off jump um, so I decided to go this route and um, and if you guys uh, if you guys are interested in some of these 20th anniversary parts um, I've been looking and so far most of them have been sold out or they're starting to become very very scarce and be like possibly discontinued very soon if uh, you can't find them available because literally almost everybody hopped on these as soon as they, they came out in production and, and to be sold. And um, from, from what I've seen, and since then, not only have they been sold out, but if they are some parts available, th the prices have been jumping up, like not, not even secondhand prices. This is like from the actual people that like supply them and and like you know hold stock on on this type of on um, these type of parts uh they went up in price well obviously you know what's going on around the world and you know <laughs> production and you know you know what it is like everything just been going up in price but if you slept on it i don't know what to say uh i'm sorry but <laughs> the prices have gone up on these like it's it's, it's been ridiculous so far second thing that I've, i also want to talk about is um this big old box right here which is the air walker duck spoiler for the s2000 
Now, this uh, particular part is a pretty rare um, JDM part. Um, not a lot of people actually like this duck bill or either don't know about it. Um, for the S2000, um, people tend to go a different route when it comes to the duck bill uh, choice, which might be ASM, which is, uh, in my opinion, is really expensive uh, option for a duck bill. And uh, but it's also nice. It's also nice. Like, don't get me wrong. I I love anything anything ASM. Um, it's just way. It's it's really expensive. It's just really expensive. But the the quality of their production is like you know top notch without a doubt. And um, and other people tend to go with different uh, spoilers like K1 Laboratories, which is nothing wrong with that. Um, most of them do have the option to keep the third brake light. But I think, may, in my opinion, I feel like this duck bill in particular isn't a very popular option because you have to sacrifice the third brake light. I wish this duck bill can keep the third brake light. Um, I'm, a, I'm totally fine with it as much as I don't want to get rid of it, but it, it is what it is. This isn't actually my first Airwalker part I've ever owned um, on my previous car, which it was a O2 uh, Civic Si here in the States. Um, I guess in like in Europe and Japan, it, this is the uh, the Type R EP3. One of the most noticeable and uh, popular Airwalker body pieces that have uh, have came out, um, like amongst the Honda community. That's very that that you'll probably recognize. Have you, you probably many people have seen it before and know what kind of bumper this is. Uh, Airwalker made the EK9 front bumper. And th this bumper is pretty popular uh, amongst the EK9, the EK chassis. This bumper is pretty cool. It has a, a very aggressive look to it. And overall, it's it's been a, a popular option amongst the EK uh, chassis. And one of the Airwalker pieces that I had for my EP3 was the front lip spoiler um, from Walker Japan, Airwalker, whatever you want to call it. This front lip in particular has been my favorite uh, style of front lip um, options for the EP3. Uh, in, in comparison to the Mugen, it would have to be either Airwalker or Mugen. But since I got my hands at that time on an Airwalker front, the front lip, um, like, you know, it was, it was perfect for me. That's, that's exactly the look I wanted, um, back then. And I still love that look till this day, but that was the EP3 in the past. And now I'm on the S2000. So this in particular has been my favorite piece since ever since I've bought the S2000. When I first bought the S2000, uh, one of the things that I, I hated the most was the, was the spoiler, the, the wing spoiler that, that was already on the car. Now, this wing spoiler, um, it's, a, it's a OEM option on, on the S2000. So on some S2000s off the lot, they've already came with this spoiler. Um, or some people have bought it and installed it on themselves like as an accessory later on whatever in whatever the case may be but uh, when I when when I first bought this car it came with the spoiler and it came with the front lip so ever since then I've kept it like that um, as much as I hate that wing I <laughs> I took it off once and I just I just do not like the look of how the S2000 looks without a wing. Um, I feel like it looks naked, it doesn't look right, it doesn't look cool and I just felt like I just had to leave it there and just deal with it. It doesn't look bad, I've gotten used to it over time but overall I I just don't <laughs> I, I don't prefer it. I don't prefer it. It's not it's not my it's not my taste. I, like I just don't I never liked it to begin with. And I've always wanted to get like a duckbill spoiler or something, um, something a little bit more, you know, aggressive looking, but not uh, too over the top, exaggerating, you know. I know I've seen some S2000s driving around town that they have, you know, a track wing, either have a, a, a Voltex wing or Jay's Racing wing, you know, whatever, whatever wing they got on. But I mean, it looks cool. Um, like I'm not gonna knock the the wing look like you know it's not my style but I know many people love that style and I know that those wings serve a purpose as far as like you know track and circuit racing those type of wings provide downforce on the track and there's no doubt about it that they serve a purpose 
um but for the most part so it's mainly for looks and that's no problem like i mean to each his own but um just like how this duck bill may not serve a purpose uh in that degree um it's it's mainly for style and um so the interesting thing about Airwalker is that um, I guess they've been in business for quite some time and like, you know, for like a long time, actually. I don't know for how long, but um, they just don't they, they don't they don't make parts just for the Honda chassis. They they also make them for they make uh, body parts like body pieces, so to speak, for um, the Toyota MR2 the Subaru Impreza, the GC8 uh, model, the Impreza, um, the, I, and also the Alteza, which here in the States would be the Lexus IS300, but, and, um, oh, and the, and the Mazda RX-7. Uh, but their website doesn't, it's very vague. It doesn't have a lot of information. Even when I Google translated it, it, it didn't have a lot of information. It just had uh, the body pieces and the pricing, and that's it like <laughs> that's it and just the model of cars that they make them for but overall they're they're mainly i would say they're mainly honda centric body uh, body pieces that they make but uh the most popular ones from what i've seen so uh from what i've seen in the past have always been the ek the ep3 and the s2000 uh with this with this uh duck bill but um but yeah as you could see uh, both of these boxes are pretty big. I'm not gonna unbox them here uh, in this room. I'm probably gonna go uh, in the garage, unbox them, show you guys what's inside the box, what they look like, and uh, test fit them. I'm gonna have to find the time to go uh, talk to the body shop and get uh, talk to them and see and see what we can work out uh, as far as getting them painted and installed in the car. Cause I'm not gonna attempt that. Uh, I'm not gonna attempt to paint stuff because because uh, i just don't know how to paint uh period so i'm just gonna let let the the experts the professionals deal with that paint it and possibly install it too and uh, but yeah um so yeah let's let's go unbox these things and check them out okay so for the sake of this video um i'm gonna do one by one and just see what's inside it. Obviously the hardware, condition that it's in. So right here, we got all the necessary hardware for the side streaks. Adhesive, double-sided adhesive. And uh, I guess this is the, the part number. Part number for bolts, if needed. It's all packaged. Have the black trim that goes for the uh, side streaks. A pair. And this right here. Possibly the bottom portion of the side streaks. One that goes under under the this part right here, this underbody panel. Should be two. So there's that part number as well. They got an individual part number for them. And then these are the, the side streaks themselves. So I'm only gonna do one side because there's no point at doing both sides. I'm just gonna get uh, unpainted. It has this uh, this matte, matte gray color to it. Um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's just a body piece. So I'm gonna test fit these. Um, I'll put them on the on the car and uh, see how they look. I'm only just gonna like see see how it look on the side side perspective. Uh, I'm not gonna go on both sides and 
fit them and give you a 360 degree view, not until like I get the car painted entirely. So for right now, just uh, here's the other one. You can kind of tell for the, uh, the right side. And um, oh, and apparently uh, somebody in the comments uh, mentioned that this is actually not a certificate, but more of a certificate of warranty. Um, thank you for letting me know what <laughs> what this meant. I thought it was like a certificate of authenticity, but it's actually a, a certificate of authenticity for the warranty uh, in case you feel like you need to return this stuff, but it's, I'm not gonna do all that. And behind it is the um, fuse to, to kind of like line up the side streak. Um, yeah, so it's gonna have one for, for both sides. So that's pretty cool to have, uh, it makes the, the guys at the body shop have an easier job to do. And um, and then it has also two two different kinds of uh, weather strips for it. Like uh, for example, if you want, wanted to have it black, you could have it black or if you have gray, but obviously it's just enough for that one time. And here's the part number for that in case anybody needs uh, to look for um, weather strip for their lip or side streaks uh, there you go and um but yeah overall all in good shape happy so i'm gonna just put this back in the box and now the 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 big boy the one i've been waiting for for years to get and now i finally have my hands on it so i've been Extremely happy about this one. Let's see how to how you open this. Alright. I did get the um, the the vinyl um, or the uh, the decal for the uh, spoiler. I got it in black. Um, I'm not entirely 100% sure if I'm gonna put it on uh, once it's painted. Uh, haven't decided yet, but um, this is the, the the decal for it. Um, once once it's installed, you can put it on the on the on the duck bill. Pretty much show it off what it is, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. I mean, they do have two options. I ordered this particular wing from ICB. Um, right now, I do believe there's a pre-order wait for it. And, um, but yeah, um, there's two different decals. There's two different decal colors for it. I got it in black, and there's also a white version of the decal if you want it in white. But, uh, but yeah, this uh, decal. And the spoiler. This is the Doug Bill. And right here it says uh, S2000, Walker Japan. And right here is the hardware for it. And let's see. So just from the looks of it, it looks like it has um, little screws, uh, double-sided adhesive tape, so it can go on the spoiler and uh, mounting brackets, two mountain mounting brackets. I have absolutely any, no idea how this is gonna go, but I'm kind of curious to see how it's gonna be uh, fitted on there. But uh, we'll see. I guess that's gonna be like something for the body shop guys to uh, figure out <laughs> and see how they work work their magic to make it fit. And um, but yeah. Um, so let me take this off. I don't know what this says. I'm gonna have to Google translate it and see what it says. Stick that right there. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this out and then I'm gonna test fit it on the car and see how it looks. All right. So one of the first things you gotta do is pop the trunk, and I believe. These bolts right here on the trunk. I will hold on the spoiler. Oh. 
gun died. Whoa, well, well, that's charging. I'm gonna keep it old school. No problem. And then you gotta remove these these rubber stoppers or whatever you want to call them, bushings. Gotta be careful. You gotta spin them. Has these rubber stoppers. These are like spiral on the inside. You probably have to spin them out, but try not to tear them out. Just pull them out because you will damage these. I do not know the part number for these, but it might be discontinued or something. Same thing with this side. You're gonna have to take out the screws in here, which are a Phillips. Try not to lose the screw. There we go. Now you can take the spoiler off. I was like all naked. Let me just unplug the third brake light. So just push it out from the sides. Just like that. Just just to have it on there, so you get an idea of what it'll look like. Um, so that's gonna be the side profile of it. Well, let me open my garage a little bit more for more light. See the the back side of it. As this is unpainted, I'm gonna get it painted uh, later down the road and see how that turns out. So that's how it look like from the back. Gotta get an idea. It's pretty, pretty out there. Comes out with a good amount. I know the OEM one is, is way shorter and it goes above the third brake light. But since for this spoiler, I had to take off the third brake light in order to make it fit. That's how it looks so far, which is so far I'm very happy with the, with the outcome of it. So now I'm gonna do the side streaks. So that's how it looks like, I'm painted. Um, obviously it's not gonna look flush entirely. I just taped it look a little bit different once the car is like fully complete like put together which i can't wait definitely gives it more of a an aggressive look so far um i'm extremely happy with how it looks um man i i, I can't wait i can't wait to to put it all together and uh once it's finally how i want it to look definitely can't wait it's been a long time since I've done anything exterior wise to the car and this for sure is gonna be like pretty, pretty cool to see the transformation of this car and uh, it get me one step closer to how the car will look ultimately. But yeah, pretty cool. I love it. Can't wait to get painted. Okay, so overall, uh, the fitment for the duck bill is what mainly concerned me about, uh, you know, test fitting to see how flush it would sit on the trunk. But overall, I'm pretty happy how it currently sits. And um, I, one thing I didn't point out was uh, the the corners where the duck bill would sit on the trunk. It's already like it would line up on the trunk. And I noticed that uh, the trunk, the, the trunk, um, we'll need some work uh, like uh the there's some holes that uh the oem spoiler um used on the trunk that will uh need to be filled and um uh, so that's something that i'm gonna have to talk to the body shop about but uh you know obviously the side streaks are oem so they're just gonna fit perfect no matter what uh because it's, it's oem can't go wrong with oem 
but overall, uh, I'm extremely happy with the fitment of the duck bill and the overall look of the duck bill with the side streaks. The, even though it's gonna make the car a little bit more, uh, slightly more aggressive, very subtle, but still aggressive at the same time. And, um, but yeah, um, man, I cannot wait to get it painted. Um, definitely stay tuned for the next video I might put out. It's, uh, it's gonna be an update video uh, regarding painting and installing on the duck bill and the, and the side streak. So stay tuned for that. Let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think. Is it something that you like, something you hate? Um, I would like to know. I would like to know the opinions for the look that I'm that I'm going for on the S2000. But um, but yeah, uh, thanks again for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.